In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.14.4 as well as how to install Fabric mods. If you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, there's going to be a couple links in the description, there's actually just going to be two, it's nice and easy for this. Uh, we've got one which is fabricmc.net, that is the official site for where you get the fabric mod loader um, and well, everything else to do with fabric. And um, what we've also got is actually the list to the main kind of like mod site which is curseforge.com. Uh, you might be familiar with that for, you know, forge mods, so uh, same kind of place. But uh, I'll give you the, the link to both of these, so then you can actually go onto it. Uh, we're actually going to be installing just one of the mods on here, but if you've got the main link, you can then have a look around, see which ones you want, and um, yeah, go from there. But first thing we'll do is open up that first link to fabricmc.net. And uh, what we're going to do is we need to go onto this installation part here, and it says uh, we need to get the fabric loader, uh, which you can download here. So click on that one. And that'll bring into the next thing. Depending on how you're actually using it, I have got multi MC, but I'm not going to be doing that today. Um, but it does work. I've already done it before. Um, we're going to be going for vanilla, but there is of course like um, MC updater and technic as well. Um, but we're going to just go for vanilla, and you can either with vanilla uh, go for the latest version. Uh, we can either do it via the .exe version, or we can do it with a .jar. Uh, it's up to you on which one you want to do. If you're using Windows, go for the .exe. There's a lot less errors that you may get up. Um, whereas jar files are kind of notorious for getting a couple errors but uh, if you are going down the jar path I'm gonna put a card on the top of the screen right now in case you do get any errors when we actually go in through that so just click on that one to actually download it and there we go just like that we have now got it I dragged this over here I'm just gonna drop that for this time onto my uh, desktop and that's just the .exe all done so if I double click on that what we'll get is this little box here so um, Minecraft version 1.14.4 is the one that we want. Um, it even does have it for snapshots, crazily enough. But uh, we're not interested in that, we just want 1.14.4. The loader version, we want the latest. And select where your install is, and we want to create a profile. So we want to create a new installation, a new profile, and just click on install. And that's it, it's done. That's why the .exe is really good. Um, there is also the server version as well on this side. But then we can just close that, we can even get rid of that, we don't need it anymore. How easy was that? Uh, now if we double click on the Minecraft launcher and get that up here, you'll notice down the bottom now if you had the Minecraft launcher at the, open at the, at the time when you're actually installing it, you won't have this automatically appear. Um, so be aware of that. You just need to close the launcher and reopen it again. Uh, but I, I always like to rename mine because I always find it's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit messy. I've kind of, to be fair, actually mine are a little bit messy in general. But if I just go into here and just edit it, um, you can then see which version it's actually using, which is the fabric loader. So we're going to call this 1.14.4 uh, uh, Fabric, for example. And the other thing I'm going to do is increase the RAM. So if you go onto this More Options, you can see this first argument here is actually how much RAM will be allocated to Minecraft. I kind of like 6. I, it depends on what I'm doing, really. But you can then just click on Save, and that's then got us Fabric. So if we just press Play, um, just to make sure that that's all running, it's always a good idea to at least run it once to make sure that everything is running as expected. Uh, because you never know with these kind of things if you're going to hit an error. So let's let that run through. So there we go. Now that Minecraft's loaded up, we've now got Fabric all uh, kind of up and running. It's all been good. Uh, if you did have any issues or anything like that, check your Minecraft game output log. Uh, see if there's anything in there or potentially look at your crash log uh, in case there's something that's gone quite wrong uh, with it starting up. And then kind of give that a Google. Uh, most of the things that have come up and people sent to me have been really specific to your machine and it's something that I can't always investigate but uh, if I can help I will but always Google should be your first point of call. Anyway let's just quit out of this because now we know that that's running fine so let's get onto the mod part of it. Alright so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get if we go back on this page or you can use the link to get onto that fabric.mc.net uh, you'll notice that, um, that most mods depend on an API mod uh, containing you know commonly used hooks it's always a good idea to get this so fabric API for Minecraft 1.14 and above so if we click on this this will then take us to the main uh, kind of link here for the Fabric API. If you go into Files, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to download the latest one and just let that do its thing. While that's happening, uh, actually, let me close out. So what you can do, if you do percent app data percent, I'm sure you guys have done this before. That can then take you into your kind of like roaming uh, and go onto your .dot Minecraft folder uh, if you've used it this way. And then you'll see this mods folder here. Now I actually have a forge mod in here. Uh, it didn't pick it up. I'm just going to delete that out of there, clean it up. 
um, and just leave it like that. So there we go. Um, what we're going to do here, there we go. You can see the the dot jars now actually done. Um, let's just do keep. You'll usually have this kind of error where it says it can harm your computer. Uh, do you want to keep it? We do. Yes. Um, it just happens with all of them. It can happen with the dot exe file as well. Uh, it doesn't seem to all the often, but we're going to just going to drag that into the mods folder. And the other thing we're going to do is for me, I'm going to get voxel map. I always like voxel map. Um, yeah, always love a map mod. So I'm going to go into files again, download this. Um, make sure it's always for the right version. Actually, I should have. I know I skipped through that very, very quickly. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So as that's downloading, so on here you can see it's fabric. Um, you know, we've got Forge, so make sure you get in the right version. So Fabric and also we want 1.14.4. Um, there's even one for the 1.15 snapshot. That's incredible that Fabric's already up to date, but it, it is pretty good. They are very, very good with it. So there we go. We've got those two in there. We've not unzipped them. We've not done anything else. We've just dragged the .jar file in there. If it does download us some other type of file, it might be because you're using either Internet Explorer or Safari. Use Chrome. That gets you around the issue. So what do we do now? Uh, nice and easy. We go back into our Minecraft launcher and we press play and we let that load up again and that should now load in the uh, kind of like fabric API type mod and also voxel map. So there we go, we've got Minecraft up, let's just open up a single player world and on this instantly we can actually see we've got a big message come up. Um, so I'm just going to press Z on that one and you can see the map mod that we've actually got. So like, just like that really. Let's get this. I always like it on, uh, on 90, actually. Um, as you can see, we've got the actual map mod up. So there we go. That is how you get fabric. How you install mods for fabric as well. It's, it is really quite easy. Um, it's a very, very nice API. And um, yeah, guys, that is literally it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you've had any issues at all, make sure to comment it in the uh, you know section below. And um, yeah, do give Google a go if it's more of a specific kind of error to... Uh, your machine. But um, yeah, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.